Morning everyone, welcome to Harbour Pilates at Home and I'm back at home. Um, we've got new new view in the uh, back room and we're going to hopefully do a, a session a week over the uh, winter to keep us all going. Hopefully, fingers crossed so that everything clears up enough for us to meet in person again next year. So let's get going with the session this morning. Bit of a general workout, nice and easy on the uh, body. So let's think about that posture though. Stretch up through the back of the head, opening out through the shoulders. Think about the waist area. Have a little roll backwards and forwards. The weight's even through both feet. And we're just feeling how much movement we've got through that low back. Tucking in through the tummy, tail goes down. And then find that mid position. From there, let's have a little sway forward and a raise up onto toes and lower back down. So we're working on our balance. We're using our core to help lift us up and lower us back down. Let's keep going for another three, two, last one. Up we come. And lower back down and a squat and a reach stretching out in front coming back reaching out as you're going down if I turn sideways you'll see we're trying to keep the back straight so tucking in and reaching out keep going for another two last one Coming back into the middle, and we're going to combine those. Let's see if we can do it without falling over. So lifting up, bend the knees, and back. Lift up, bend the knees, heels down, and back up. Three to go. Lift, reach, heels, and up. Two. Last one coming up. Up we come, down and back and a little march out nice high knees three two one reach both arms up stretching out wide let's go swimming so we're still using that squat movement adding the arms still engaging through the tummy two more getting those shoulders loosened off a little bit coming round down into the middle Lift up through the chest, drop the shoulders down, tight through the middle. Opening out, drawing back in. Opening out, drawing back in. Three to go. Two. Last one. Out we go. Stretching wide. And coming back in for three. Two. Last one coming up. And from there, mermaid over. Come back down through the middle, out and over. Make it a nice fluid movement. Down, up and out. Once more each side. Through the middle, lifting up through the chest, remember. Over there, let the other arm come and join you. Hands on head. We're going to do that dolphin dive. So we're going to go down with the chin. Bend the knees, curling up, reaching out, coming back up for four, three, mobilising that spine right from the back of the head all the way down to the tail. Last one, down we go, coming back, big stretch up, big stretch down, let's go wide, we'll do a little bit to loosen the hips before we go down. Tail down, knees are out for four, three, still keeping the body tall, two, one, don't go down too far, hands on hips, little bounces as you bounce, we're turning those knees out, working our bums. Squeeze the bottoms, three, two, one, let's go down a little bit lower, little bounces there, Keeping the chest up. Three, two, one, and a little bit lower. Three, two, one, and we're up. March it out. Nice knees. Three, two, one. 
two, one. Okay, from there, let's have a roll down and then we'll go down onto the mats. Breath in, breath out, chin down. Stretch from the back of that neck, little bend of the knees, curl yourself up as tightly as you can. You can even hug onto your calves if you want to, to stretch out well. As you come back up, you're pulling in through that tummy and peeling, lifting up tall. Stretch through the back of the neck. Breath in, breath out. Chin on chest, rolling down, stretch down to the floor, the weight's on the front of your feet, big stretch through that back, and then slowly, slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to do one more, then we'll go down. Down we go. Reaching down, stretching down, big old stretch, good stuff. Right. Get yourself sorted onto your mats. I'm going to sort the camera out and we'll have a little go down. Ooh, look, I've got a different setup now. A bit I, can't, I can't work. That's not brilliant, is it? Hold on. We just zoomed and it was fine with the zoom. That's a bit better. Okay, so down we go. Settling yourself down onto your mats or, or onto your floor. Feet, hip width apart. Opening out across the front of your chest, nice and wide. Allow yourself to sink down through the ribs, drop your chin down. Reach down with those arms. Have a draw in through your tummy, flatten out. Gently roll back the other way. Drop down. Up back the other way and then find that mid position from there. We're holding that tight, we're reaching down with our arms. We're going to do our hundreds. You can gently lift your head up at the same time. Or you can leave your head down. You can bring one leg up. You can double tabletop, you can bring the other leg up. If you do that, make sure you're holding on through that middle. Don't arch up, push down through the rib cage. Drawing in through your tummy as we pulse up and down. Reaching down through the shoulders. You should be feeling those tummies work. The back should be rock solid. You can squeeze your knees together if you want to in that double tabletop. But go carefully, if you've got a little bit of a back problem, Keep one of those feet down at least, if not both of them. Okay, you don't want to be arching through the middle. Remember, it took me a couple of years before I felt confidence doing this. Drawing in for three, two, one. Lower those arms, gently lower the legs one at a time. In line with your hips and relax. And as you relax, you feel yourself just unfurl through there a bit. Centre yourself again, bring one leg up into a single tabletop, from there we're going to do a one leg stretch at level two, we're going to reach out and draw back in. Keep going for another four and back. Everything else is even, we've got even pressure for our back, for our bottom, there's weight going through that other foot, two to go. As you stretch out, you don't arch up through the middle, you keep solid. Last one. Coming back in, keeping that single tabletop, let's hip twist out to the side. For five, keep the other side down. Four. Three. Try and relax through the upper body. Two, twisting out just to where you can control. Last one. Come back in, lower that leg, bring the other leg up. We're scissoring now. Lower down, change to the other side, keeping that back still. So you prepare to lift up that other leg. As you lower it down, you're controlling, controlling, and lift. Control, control, control. Don't let the back move. 
tighter everything and lift. Two more. Down we go. And lift. Last one. This one's going to go down. The other leg's going to come up. And we should have the other leg in that single tabletop. We're going to do our five one leg stretches. Rooting out. Drawing back in. Make sure the weight's even everywhere else. Feel the weight through your shoulder blades, through your bottom, both sides. We've got two to go, I think. I might have more. Last one coming up. Reaching out. We're not going too high to the ceiling. It's level with that other leg. Come back into your tabletop and we hip twist out. Just to where you can control. Might be less one side than the other, that's fine. Three to go. Keep the other side down. Three. Two. Last one. Coming back in. Gently lower down and relax and breathe. <coughs> Bring those arms up. Don't have them too close together. You want them nice and wide and relaxed. We're double leg stretching, level two. Reaching away. Hold for that in breath. Come back in on the out. For six. Five. Alternating the legs. Four. Three, two, last one, coming back in, lower those arms all the way down. Now if you're using a head pillow you might want to lose that now because we're going to go into some shoulder bridging so the feet are hip width apart. We're drawing in through that tummy, we're tilting that pelvis, lifting up through the tailbone, up onto shoulder blades. You've got a straight line through knees, hips to shoulders. As you sink down, try and sink down through the breastbone, through the upper body, lower back and tail. Breath in to prepare, breath out. We pick ourselves up. Peeling onto nice wide shoulders. From there, <coughs> gently roll back down again. One more like that. <coughs> Excuse me, I should have had coffee before. Up we come. Gently back down. We've just finished a Zoom class, so we've gone straight from Zoom to YouTube. With this one, we're holding at the top. Lifting up, keeping that position. Keep your left leg still. Right leg is going to twist out. For four, three, two. Keep that bridge up. Don't let your bottom sink down. Last one. Coming back into the middle and gently lower back down. Bit by bit by bit. Let's go for the other side. So breath in. Breath out, come on back up, rolling up. Right leg stays still, left leg goes out to the side. For four, three, two, check your bottom still up in the air. Last one, coming back in and gently rolling back down bit by bit by bit. Now if you've got a TheraBand at home, you could always do that pop the band around your leg, you get some extra resistance. It works really well for your bottoms. We might do that in a few weeks time. So let's go one more and we're going to do alternate legs, okay, as we go. So drawing in, squeezing and lifting up and let's add some arms as well. So arms come up, opposite arm and leg go out and back for six, five, Four, three, keep the bridge up, 
two, last one, coming back into the middle, take the arms overhead, feel that stretch as you lower down, bit by bit by bit. Good stuff, let the legs relax, pop your hands behind your head. <clears throat> From there, let's have dough prep. Breath in to prepare, on the breath out, gently roll up, drawing in through your tummy. Hold for the in breath, roll out on the out breath. Six of those. This is one where using your breath is really useful. Okay. As you breathe out, feel that ribcage drawing you up towards your pelvis. And slowly lowering back down. I've forgotten how many. Let's do two more. Last one coming up, keep those elbows nice and wide. Up we come. Gently back down, resting back down there. Let's give the legs a stretch. If you've got a stretching strap, just reach for mine. You can grab it now, pop it over your foot. Bring your knee in towards you, stretch it up towards the ceiling. Toes down, heels away. Slide the other leg. Stretching away, reaching up nice and high, holding yourself nice and stretched out, feel that length through from the heel to the bottom, for four, three, two, one, and gently down, let's change over to the other side. Knee up towards you, give it a cuddle in, slide the other leg out, stretch that one high, feel the length through the back of the heel all the way down to the bottom, stretching away, holding it there, for three, two, one, Gently lower that leg back down. Good stuff. Bring the arms out to the side, the feet and knees together. Knees go one way, head goes the other. Feel that stretch through the spine. Back over the other way. Good stuff. And a couple more. Big stretch. Coming back the other way, push those knees out, that hip's being pushed over, three, two, one, come back and we're going to go over onto our sides, we're going to finish with a little bit of plum work, so stack yourself up, hips on top of each other, shoulders, the feet are in line with the bottom, from there we're drawing in so you get that lift through the waist, try and relax through the shoulder squeezing open you can feel your bottom working and slowly lowering down we're going to do four at level one drawing in squeeze open if you're not feeling it in the back of the bottom alter that position a little bit try twisting slightly forwards you might feel it a bit more bring the knees up or take them back down a little bit last one at level one squeezing and opening Gently back down, rest there, bring the feet up, drawing in through the waist, we're level two in. For four, slowly down, good for the health of that tendon at the side. Three, keep going, be nice and straight otherwise. Two, last one. back down, lower the feet down, bring that top leg in front, keep the bottom leg bent, we're just rolling it up and down, it's a nice easy one, for four, three, two, last one, 
and back down, stretch that bottom leg straight, you're going to pop the top leg, just hook your foot behind your knee and we're level three planning, drawing in through your waist, squeezing and opening. For four, three, two, last one, coming back down, resting there, stretch the leg out nice and straight, let's torpedo over, big old stretch, fingers to toes, and we're back. Reach, try and stay nice and balanced. We're having to work the core a little bit. Two more. Last one. Over we go. Coming back and then let's go down the other side. Down onto the other side. Excuse my English. And we're going to try it on the other side. So, if you're supporting with a small pillow, you've got to have your arms straight above you. If it's in front, you're going to curl up, you're going to lose your position. So if it's that, that's the case, you need a bigger pillow and have your arms in front. So check that out. Shoulders stacked up, hips stacked up, feet in line. From there, drawing in through your waist, we're starting off with that level one. Squeeze through the bottom of the pelvic floor. Up we come. For four. Slowly down. Three. And it's that slow lower that strengthens that tendon at the back. Two. Last one. And down. Rest there for a moment. Bring those feet up, draw in through your waist so you get a little lift. Keeping that lightness there. And we go again for four, three, squeezing open, two, and down, last one, drawing in, pulling up through that pelvic floor, solid in the middle, lower back down, lower the feet down, Top leg comes in front, underneath leg, we roll up and down. Gives this one a chance to rest. It's nice and easy here. Two to go. Last one. And then from there, straighten out that underneath leg. Hook the foot around the knee, drawing in through your tummy again, but it's that climb at level three to finish off with. Out we come, slowly down, and again, squeezing open, slowly, slowly down. Drawing in through that waist as well. If you're solid in the middle, your bottom's got something solid to pull on. If you're loose in the middle, it's not going to be as effective. Last one, make it tight, make it good. Slowly, slowly down, resting there, stretch that leg out as well. We're lying on a little plank of wood. If you glance down, you should see the tops of your feet. And we're going to do a torpedo stretch over. And down. Nice big straight curve over your head like you're painting a rainbow. There's a little bit of rain around today, we'd like to see the sunshine as well to make the rainbow. Over we go, last one coming up, reaching over, big stretch, good stuff. Now we've worked the bottom quite hard just then, so we ought to have a little stretch out. You can choose which way you want to stretch out. So you can turn onto your back, pop one foot over the other, let the knee drop out, tighten through the middle as you pull up that other leg, you're going to squeeze in, okay? That's one way to do it. If you don't like that one, 
you can, if your arms are too short, you can use your stretching strap around that leg to help you pull up. Or you can go over onto the front and you can do a pigeon stretch. So with that one, you take one leg backwards, fold the other one in underneath and stretch out. It's not so kind on the knee, yeah? So if you've got knee difficulties, it might be a problem. So this is the pigeon stretch. If that's good for you, you can also sort of reach up through the chest as well. Three, two, one, and then let's change over onto the other leg. So take one leg backwards if you're pigeoning, other leg underneath, glide back, and settle down. Okay, and you can stretch up through the arm as well if you want to. Stretching out the hips, stretching up out the bottom. Just going to curl up again a little bit, get a bit more stretch through the bottom. Three, two, one, and then if everybody comes over onto hands and knees, make sure you get hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath those hips. Let's just have a little cat stretch, bottom up, head up. Tuck the tail in and stretch up through the middle. Rolling back out, mobilising that spine right from the tail up to your head. Coming back up again and then sitting back towards your heels, stretch those arms out. Have a big arm stretch. And you can take those arms out even further, stick your bottom in the air a little bit. And get a stretch through that upper body. Three, two, one, slowly, slowly curl yourself up. Let's come into standing for the last little bit and stretch ourselves out. Let's alter the camera again. It's a bit wonky. From there then. I am a bit wonky on it, aren't I? I don't know how it's managed to twist that way. <clears throat> standing up nice and tall though. Straight through the back of that head. Breath in, breath out. A little bit of a stretch. You'll drop the head and shoulders, bend the knees, loop the fingers, and then really pull those hands away from the body. Stretching that upper back, coming all the way up, stretching out wide. I'm gonna do it sideways for my second one. Have a little check of your position when you're doing it. So we're not bending all the way down, yeah? It's just the shoulders up, shoulders down, head down. So it's just that upper body. From there, a little bend of the knees, just so you can keep that bit straight. And then it's a stretch out. Peeling yourself back up. Don't stick the ribs out too much. Keep them underneath. Lengthen and down. Good stuff. You should feel nice and light now as we float them up. And again, don't have them up here. Settle down nice and wide. We twist out and back. Round to the other side. Out and back. Once more each side. Last one. Coming back into the middle, lower those arms down. Let's just have a little stretch down one side. Reach up with the other arm. Hand on head, elbow to ceiling, reaching over, have a big circle round into the middle and down. And then gently, gently, gently pull yourself back up, pulling up through the tummy and drop the shoulders down. Down the other side, reaching down, stretching up, reach, hand on head, elbow to ceiling, stretching over circling round, down into the middle, weights towards the front, and then slowly, slowly come back up, bit by bit by bit by bit by bit, and drop the shoulders down, from there. Breath in, breath out. Let's just roll down to the front, see where we're at. So a little bend of the knees, curling up, reach down, see if you can touch the floor with your fingertips, with your palms if you're feeling very stretchy today and then come back up. 
We're going to do a calf stretch and repeat that. So with your calf stretch, one foot forward. Let me go back so you can see my feet. And then with that bottom, that back leg, pop your toes down first, heel down so that everything is pointing in the same direction. Lunge forward. If you've got something to hold on to, a wall or a shelf, I've got a shelf here, push forward onto that. Holding that there, feel it through that back calf. For four, three, two, one, come back up. Let's swap the legs over. So again, place toes down, heel down. Everything is pointing in the same direction and we're lunging forwards. Keep that back heel down. Don't lift it up, keep it down. Stretch forward through the tummy, through the hips. Lift up gently through the chest. If you can push onto something, you'll feel it better. And a stretch. Three, two, one. Coming back up, come into the middle. Let's see what that's done to our roll down. So, breath in, breath out. Drop the chin on the chest. Curl down as tightly as you can. Curl yourself up. At the bottom, take a nice deep breath in. Breathe out and see if we can get deeper. And slowly, slowly, slowly. Peel, your, <coughs> peel yourself back up. Lift it up gently through the chest, through your, through your tummy. Stretch it up. Have a little shake out. Restack yourself. Weights even through both feet. So keep breath in. All the way up. And a breath out. Well done, folks. Hope you're all staying safe. Obviously, numbers are rising at the moment, so keep yourself safe. Wash your hands a lot. Keep safe distance. Mask up. What is it we say? Hands, face, space. Let's stick to it. Let's get through this safely. Uh, those of you that are entitled to flu jabs, go and get them. Let's, let's keep all these bugs at bay this winter. Take care, folks. Leave me a message if there's anything particularly you want me to cover in any future sessions. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.